Hello everyone, welcome back to mobs-bd.org. Uh, what we're going to do here today is to install certificate services as exchange over here into this domain controller. Let me show you a bit with the network uh, network statistics. This is what I already have set up and you have already seen the previous videos uh, you already know what this computer already has so uh, okay let's go ahead with the installation of certificate services uh, this will be a three or four part series primarily uh, talking about all the certificate services the algorithms and everything that will be Let's as you can already see that I'm running low, very low on memory. It's a two gigabyte machine. So all these services except for the Hyper V is installed. So periodically I'll be installing all these things and upload it to When, uh, certificate authority and also the web enrollment. The online, as you can see, there was some uh, informational description over here. You can also go go ahead uh, read these things. Network device enrollment services. This is particularly important if you have network devices such as Cisco, Juniper, uh, whatever you say. Uh, those devices can be also included in the certificate authority. So. The web service is also over here, the, uh, the policy server. So what we're going to do here today is go through with only two of these options. And periodically, uh, when these things are needed, we will install it. Let's go ahead. We will be installing an enterprise client, <coughs> enterprise root CA, enterprise, and then root CA. Uh, these are for your reading. Please go ahead with these things, and the more you study with the PKI system, uh, the algorithms, and everything. B or this B. A data center. Let's see. I oh, know. Okay. Uh, enterprise service pack one. So here you are. Uh, we, you can select anyone you want, but the the bits, uh, the tougher it gets. So basically, uh, I haven't heard uh, yet that someone has directly break a code. Uh, there could be someone else also. So uh, I don't surf in those areas. So uh, what can I say? I only see don't clone. So 1024 bit is good enough. The, uh, the, more, num the, the more you have, 4096, uh, it's, uh, that's pretty tough. Uh, 512 is actually good for you. So allow administrator interaction when the private key is accessed by the CA. Okay, click next. So the server name would be mobs pd and mobs server CA certificates. These, these, all these things are for your info.
um, you if you have an AI ecologic or something like that that would be uh, highly recommended so let's get on with these things install uh, yep <coughs> so after the process uh, finishes you will see in the server manager As in my previous video with the uh, certificate service. So, sorry about that. Hopefully, it will finish soon. Uh, hmm. Okay. And after that, uh, you can also assign certificates to uh, computers and also for uh, users. Also, every device that that's connected to your uh, uh, to your num to your domain, <coughs> you can assign all those things, uh, all the certificates to it, so that people people would actually uh, don't know that uh, they are actually having those certificates into uh, into their machine because they will suddenly they will be able to uh, encrypt files and it's also uh, well to end users it's also uh, a bit disastrous because uh, somehow uh, suppose like if a user um, loses its certificate uh, in the machine so then you will be uh, in trouble. We will we'll be seeing these things, uh, how to recover all these things uh, later on uh, in the next videos. So installation succeeded. <coughs> we will be closing this thing. Ah, well, it's coming in slowly. Yeah, the enterprise certificate. There's my primary certificate. <coughs> there are some templates uh, to be worked with, and there are so many of them uh, over here. And basically, you can duplicate. To machines, manual enrollment, auto enrollment, and key recovery. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, you'll like this. Bye.